Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, you're probably wondering why I look like this. <laughs> I am going to film a same product, different technique kind of video today. So one side is going to be one technique and the other side is going to be a different one, all using the same products. So if you'd like to see what I do and how I do it, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I've already done my foundation and my brows just so this video is not like a thousand years long. Um, so I'm just going to go straight into concealer, um, which I should do. I think I'll do this one as my good side and this one as my bad side. So concealer then. Good side. You want to make a triangle. The reason you do that is because the light when it hits your face will cast that sort of shape so it's a natural looking shape. So then the bad side, that's not going to do jack for you. <laughs> to put it frank, right, who's frank? Okay and then just to blend it in so you can see the difference, that's the bad side. Can you see the difference how like that just changes your shape and it's more flattering and that it's just a bit of a bit of a blob yeah bronzer then let's do bronzer so i'm going to use a duo fiber brush for the good side and i'm starting back here and i'm doing it small circular motions and you don't want to take it really really far down but you are just bronzing up your face at this point. And then I'm going to bring it up here and I'm really hardly touching my skin. It's really, really light. And then I'm going up here on my forehead. It's because I have more of a five head. Um, and it's just giving a bit more definition to my head and kind of making it look a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to put a little bit under my chin. And I kind of drag it down. Okay, so then bad side a big kind of more dense brush same bronzer and instead of doing the circular motions I'm doing front to back front to back like that does not look pretty and then I see people literally the whole temple yeah the whole temple and then most of your forehead and then it, instead of underneath the chin they're doing it on the la on like the jawline which is also not cool <laughs> because really you want to be contouring and kind of bronzing where your natural kind of shadows are so underneath is where the shadow is it's not here you're kind of making a new one but it's not very flattering if you know what I mean okay so let's do <clears throat> contour so I'm gonna use a flat brush and then on this side, I'm going to kind of dab and then sweep really quite close back to the hairline. Sorry if you can hear the wind, by the way. <clears throat> like it's really hot in front of these lights, but it's really windy outside. And then what I'm doing here is flicking upwards because <clears throat> you don't want to bring your contour down. That's the whole point of contouring is to kind of give you some bold kind of high cheekbones if you know what I mean. I'm going to flick it up and I'm also going to just do a bit down my nose. Tiniest bit. 
and then back in with the bronzer brush that I used to just diffuse it a little bit. Okay, bad side then. We're gonna go all the way to the mouth. See how that is not flattering here, you've gone too far in. You wanna keep it quite far back. You don't wanna be going all the way in. I feel like I've got a hair on me. Okay. Okay, and then down the nose. Did you notice that I only used like the one side of my brush when I did this side? So for this side, I'm gonna use the whole thing. And can you see how thick that is? And that's not looking like a natural shadow compared to this one. Okay, so that's the contour in. So blush. For the good side, I'm going to use quite a, quite a dense brush, I'm hardly packing on any of this colour. I'm just going to smile and pop it on my apples of my cheeks, and I'm kind of dabbing it in and then blending it in with the contour. So it's very natural, like just been in the sun. Okay, so bad side I've loaded up the brush I'm just gonna yeah that's that's my cheek yeah <laughs> so instead of just on the apple you're kind of going too low so your apple is not starting here it's up here and if anything you want to bring it higher so your apples look higher up so you've got more shape and dimension to your face. So yeah, that is a big no no. I like it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> okay, highlight then. Okay, do do do. Where's my highlight brush? Okay, good side. I'm a sucker for highlight, but there is <laughs> there is a, a thing as too much so. So I'm going to start at the really highest point of my cheek. I'm going to kind of pat it first and then blend it in. And then I'm going to bring a little bit up here. I do like that. So when the light hits it, it's like bam. Okay. Bad side. Too high up and too, too close to your nose. You don't want it too high up. And you don't want to go all the way into your hairline. Like that's just not cute. You kind of highlighted under your eye. And if you've got texture under your eye, it's gonna bring it out and it's gonna look nasty. So just keep it to the high points of your cheekbones tiny bit up here with the leftover on your brush not this far in, this high up to your right, not this close to your hairline okie dokie, right let's do eyes now so for the good side I'm going to use a blender brush so it's a very fluffy brush and I'm going to take a crease colour and it's a yellow colour, it's from the Shannon Shanexo palette and I'm going to bring it just above my crease. This is giving definition to your eyeballs. And for me, because I've got slightly hooded eyes, I do bring it a little bit higher up to kind of make my own crease. So windshield wiper motions, just blend that in. And then we're just gonna do a simple eye look by the way. I'm not like gonna go all, go all out. So then I'm just gonna use a smaller fluffy brush and take a darkish, darker colour and I'm gonna create more definition. So I'm just gonna go below that orangey shade and I'm keeping it towards the outer half of my eye. This then keeps the inner part really bright and you look awake then. Okay, and then with 
a flat brush. I'm just going to take the shimmery colour. I'm going to pack that on the rest of the lid. So the inner, inner half. And then on the inner corner as well. And I'm going to go back in with the first blender brush and just blend everything in. And can you see I look really awake with this inner corner highlight? Okay, so on the bad side, I'm going to go straight in with the flat brush and take the shimmer highlight and I'm going to pack it all over the lid. And then I'm going to use the brown ready colour that we used. But I'm going to use the same flat brush. So I'm trying to do the same thing with this one brush. Okay, can you see that's just not blending. So then I'm going to use the yellow colour with the flat brush, obviously, and we're going to put it in the crease. Of course we are. And let's chuck a bit more red on. Yeah. Can you see the difference? Like, using a flat brush <clears throat> in your crease it's just not going to work <clears throat> so I use the exact same shadows different brushes you really want fluffy brushes in your crease area and the outer corner just to blend it out it's always, you don't want harsh lines so you blend that out with these sorts of brushes and then you pack on colour with the flat brush you don't want to use it all over with every colour it's just not going to work okie dokie next Let's do, let's do eyeliner. Oh. Okay, let's do eyeliner. So on the good side, I'm just going to pull my lid. I'm going to fill in the outer half. Just to give it a bit more definition on this outer corner since everything's kind of smoked out here. And then on the bad side, instead of going in the eye, I'm going to go on it. Yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so this side has made my eye look really, really small by having this loads of black, I've just got up my nail, what am I doing? All this black on the outside of my eye. It doesn't complement the eyeshadow colours and it's just bringing in my eye, making it kind of look drooping. This side, we've got it on the outer half, on the inside, which is just making our lash line look fuller. It's not making our eyes look smaller, it's not making them look droopy and it's complementing the eyeshadow. Okay, so mascara then. For the good side, you want to be getting really close to the root. You kind of want to wiggle it and then bring it up. So wiggle at the root and bring it up. And this just makes the lashes look fuller at the bottom and then wispy at the top and it makes them look really long. Okay, and then for the bad side, it's having your eyes closed. I know. So, with your eyes shut, you're only getting the top kind of half of your lashes. Can you see that this isn't doing anything for me? it's so difficult to do I'm getting it everywhere so can you see I've only got like the top half of my lashes they're not full they're not wispy they're just kind of 
clumpy. So you want to make sure your eyes are open, guys, okay? Um, I'm, I can't be bothered to see the bottom lashes. Let's, let's just move on. <laughs> uh, okay, I think the last thing then, really, is lips. So, I don't really use a lip liner. Um, if you're a beginner, I probably would recommend a lip liner. But with most liquid lipsticks, I don't find they need it. Um, so this is going to be the good side. And I'm following my... Oh, hello. I'm following my natural lip line. But I am going outside of it a tiny bit just to overdraw. Okay, so this is the good side. So I've overdrawn like the tiniest bit, but I followed my natural la um, lip line, as I say, lash line. Okay, so on the bad side, we're not going to do that. <laughs> Can you see how much I have overdrawn? And how unnatural it looks. This is not my natural lip size. I have overdrawn. But it's so small. It looks natural. This doesn't. You can see the line. Where your natural lip line is. If you go too much above it. It doesn't look right. It just does not look natural. Um, so yeah. Which side do you prefer guys? <laughs> No, this one is calling me. <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.